Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In the last video, I have demonstrated you step by step how to install and deploy Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 on VirtualBox. Now that we have installed Linux on VirtualBox, the next step is to configure it and to configure different servers. Now before we can configure any server, we have to install some packages and I have already told you in the last video that Red Hat Enterprise Linux is regarded as a commercial edition if you want to have the yum installed directly way so you have to pay them subscription so rather than to pay them subscription we will be configuring our local yum repository on the local hard disk media and we will be straight away fi firing at the command that is yum install that package yum install this package so how to configure it how to install the repositories because you know that one repository is dependent on another repository so in order to remove those dependencies as we you, we you have seen in Ubuntu videos we just fire the command that is apt get install vlc or apt get install this package that package it will be just straight away installed from the internet so rather than to uh, install the packages from the internet we can install it from the local hard drive so let us fire this Red Hat enterprise linux installation so let us click on the word start so now you can uh, just start the Red Hat enterprise linux which we have installed so I, I will be explaining each and everything step by step if you follow those steps step by step you will be finding no problem in deploying the yum repository local on your hard disk drive and it's a very easy to do procedure no rocket science so now you can see that the Red Hat has started uh, booted it has already been booted so let us click on this click on the word that is called other and now we provide the username root and we provide the password that is my password whatever has been set during the installation part so now let us uncheck this so that we should not be seeing this message again and again so ignore this message this is not a thing to worry about so let us go and click this devices and optical drives and let us mount this ISO file so you can see that the CD has been mounted so before we go with the CD let us first of all set the IP address so you click over here that is network and click on system ETHO if you want to you can say uh, configure some IP address of your own personal address you just give the command that is system hyphen config hyphen network so just press enter on device configuration press enter on ETHO and now you have to uncheck this DHCP and I've already provided that is IP address that is 192.168.1.2 subnet mask and the default gateway so let us press tab press OK and now we have to press save and now we have to press save and quit so if I go and type this command IF config now you can find that the IP address has been set up of this machine is 192.168.1.2 so before we proceed let us first of all install some packages so that those packages will help us in order to set up the repository yum repository locally on this machine so let us go and have you, as you have already seen that i have mounted the dvd of rhel so let us double click on the word packages folder packages and now just search the package that is vsftpd it is the ftp server package we have to make the local ftp server so that when any user give any command of yum all the packages can be crawled from that uh, yum repository where we have to find all the packages where we will copy in just a matter of seconds so with this ftp so just click on continue anyway and click on install so these are called the dependencies some packages are required in order to run some other packages it will be resolving but there are some packages in which we have to install the rep dependencies first and then the packages so there will be no need after that when we will configure it so now you can see that the package has been uh, installed so let us give this command service vsftpd restart so now the restart uh, of the FTP has been done and let us give this command so that it should always remain on and we should not be able to again and again give this uh, restart package uh, command of this FTP server. So chk config vsftpd on. So now whenever we restart the package or, or you can say the restart the Red Hat repository the package will be restarted. The next thing which we require is create repo package so this is the package so if I double click over here and click on continue anywhere and click on install 
you can find that there is a transaction error. This is called a repository error, which means that we have the Python Delta RPM package, which is not installed. But when we will configure our YAM server, there these errors will no be in front of you. So let us click close and we have to uh, install two packages that is called Delta RPM and the second is called Python Delta RPM. So let us click close. So let us first of all install that is called the Delta RPM. So here the package. So let's double click continue anyway and click install. So after that we have to install the package that is Python Delta RPM. So let us first uh, search this package Python Delta RPM. Yes, good. So now let us double click and click us continue anyway. So click install. So now we can uh, install this package that is called continue anyway, create repo. And now you can see that it has installed because the repositories which are required to run this create repo has already been installed. So the next step is to go to this, uh, you can say folder. Now let us close this. And let me give you the location where we have to install all uh, we have to copy all the packages. So cd slash var slash ftp slash pub. So in this location, you can say pwd present working directory. In this location, we have to copy all the packages. So let us uh, go and give this command. Let us close this. So let us go this command cp space ivr slash media slash rhel in which you can see that all the dvd link has been copied over here so let us fire this command and we have to put star which means everything to be copied from slash where to slash where slash ftp slash pub now you can see that all the packages have started copying so it will take some time so till it copies let us pause the video for some time so now you can see that the all the packages have install uh, have been uh, deployed on this directory that is slash where slash ftp slash pub now we have to activate this repository so let us go and create one file so we just give the command vim slash etc slash yum dot repos dot d press tab and you can find all the command has come so here is the file name that is first dot repo you can give any name but i will give my uh, name as first dot repo so let us go to the insert mode press i now let us create this file as such file first repo then you have to type name is equal to this is any name which you can put i can just type my name this is anand linux repository so after that you have to give this uh, command that is called base url now for this we have to give this command that is ftp colon slash slash the ip address that is 192.168.1.2 and that's the reason i have set this ip address rather than to have a dhcp i've have it i have added the manual ip so slash pub where is the location of the all the repositories have been copied so let us give this command that is enabled is equal to one and now the last command that is gpg check is equal to zero so this is the file which you have to create. So let us press escape and colon WQ, which means write and quit, which means that the file in which all the contents which I have uh, copied in this file has already been copied and the FTP has been activated. So let's press enter. And now let us return to our terminal mode. So click clear. And now you have to activate the repo with the command that is create repo slash where slash FTP slash pub. Now it will take some time. So it is spawning the worker and once it is being spawned, it is being activated, we can just type the yum command. So till it done, uh, let us pause this video. So now you can see that it has uh, completed the crawling and now let us clear this and now let us give some command or by installing some package that is yum install system hyphen config hyphen kickstart. So now you can see that no, uh, you can, it has resolved all the dependencies and it has uh, removed us from this uh, panic that we have to install one repository, then second and then third and then go for dependencies and then give you the main package. So you just press Y and press enter. It will be installing that package. So it is setting up the package. So which means that the FTP server is working fine, our command is working fine, our uh, repository, uh, uh, you can say script is working fine, and the package, you can say it has been installed and it is working very fine. 
So in this video, I have told you how to install your repository, how to make the local YAML repository and get yourself off from the pain of getting the packages first and then go with the dependencies and then install all the dependencies and then click on the packages in this video. So I hope you have, uh, I hope you like this video and uh, do give this shot and do install your local repository on your machine and in the future videos i will be installing some more uh, servers packages more commands of linux so till then goodbye